Keeping a close eye on Doppler radar because we have some building thunderstorms around this afternoon, some of which could be clipping the Bozeman area. But we've seen pretty much a steady, light, cool rain over Butte through a better part of the late morning, early afternoon. And there's an upper level low sitting and spinning over the region. And there are very few thunderstorms out there. There are few and far between, but there is a line of storms from Lima, just south of Ennis, heading up towards Big Sky Gardener here at uh, 105 p.m. So there will be some instability with this upper level low moving through the region. And there are some issues with heavier rainfall. There's a flash flood warning out near Nyhart. Uh, they've been picking up one to two inches of rain out of some stalled thunderstorms up there in central Montana. Tomorrow, as we warm up, dry out, the winds increase. This does bring a higher fire danger to much of central Montana, and that does drop down into the northern portions of Gallatin County, Broadwater, Mar County, and back towards Jefferson County there as well. So watch for some isolated showers and thunderstorms, Bozeman, over the next couple of hours, clearing and cooling here into the overnight. And we're pretty much storm-free tomorrow, although an isolated mountain rumble could develop, but sunny, hot, and windy will set up your midweek weather pattern. So it's a little on the cooler side, very comfortable out there, and we'll keep an eye on the potential for a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms at least through 9 p.m., clearing after sunset.